course you love Ethan. So do I. But he finds himself in the awful position of loving both of us. And I think you'd want to give the man you say you love the time and space he needs to make his choice. It's just the idea of dating both of us. Unless, of course, you're afraid that once Ethan spends more time with you, he'll realize he's not in love with you after all. That's it, isn't it, Teresa? You don't want Ethan to date both of us because you're afraid he'll realize that his love for you isn't nearly as strong as his love for me. That's not it at all, Gwen. I know that Ethan loves me. I can see it in his eyes when he looks at me. By the way he relaxes when I walk into a room. I can feel it when he touches me. That's real love, Gwen. And it won't disappear just because you want it to. That's what you think you little wanna be. Now, real class always wins in the end. Look, I think all Gwen is saying is that None of us know what this dating idea will bring. You know, uh, chances are the two of you may get sick and tired of the position I've put you in and end up telling me to go to hell. Never. Never. Look, that's nice to hear you say that now, but none of us knows what the future holds. I mean, if you would have asked me a year ago if the three of us would ever end up in a situation like this, I mean, I would have told you it was impossible. That's because it's always made sense for us to get married. Well, Gwen, I guess what I'm saying is that in life, you never know what's going to happen. But things happen, and when they do, you have to roll with them. And even change completely if necessary. Maybe that's true for you, Ethan. But I know what I feel for you will last forever. I'm going to love you until the day I die. We may see, won't we? That is, if you give Gwen's suggestion a shot. Look, Teresa, don't do this for me. Do this for yourself. I mean, right now, you think you know what you want for the rest of your life, but, but you're still young. Give yourself a chance to think about this. See if I really live up to your dreams. I mean, Gwen's going to do it. I mean, you know, it may turn out that, that I don't measure up to... Me either one of your dreams and then we'll move on from there so what do you say I guess what about Luis what about him Teresa look I'm not trying to upset you all right sis I'm just telling you how it is just because Ethan is young and smiles nice for those society magazines, that doesn't make him any less of a sleaze than his father or grandfather. He's even more dangerous because he knows how to charm people. That is not true. Look, I know him, and you don't. Well, it, it'll never work. I mean, my brother hates Ethan. He'd never let me go out with Ethan in a million years. You're right, Teresa, your brother is going to be a problem, but I don't think it's going to be an insurmountable one. Ethan, how can you say that? Luis will go crazy if he finds out I'm the reason that you and Gwen didn't get married. I think you should listen to what Teresa's saying, Ethan. But Gwen, it was, it was your idea to have me date the both of you. Well, maybe this is, a, this is a sign. I mean, if Luis would have such a huge problem with Teresa dating you... Imagine how he'd feel if you chose her as the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. No, but I am not afraid of Luis or anyone else who gets in the way of my relationship with either one of you. I mean, if anything, I mean, this gives us more reason to pursue this dating thing. I mean, it will be kind of a, a trial for us and our families. I guess the ball's in your court, Teresa. If you really think it's for the best, Ethan. Look, I, I know it sounds unorthodox, but I think Gwen came up with the only fair solution. Well, thank you, sweetheart. The way I picture it, you will date both me and Teresa alternately, and I think because tomorrow was supposed to be our wedding day, I think it only fair that I have the first date. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Teresa? 
this, Teresa? Just think there's got to be another Don't way. Don't tell me you're afraid you're going to lose your advantage just because I'm going out with Ethan first. I mean, surely you must have more confidence in your relationship with Ethan than that. You won't stop loving me, will you? Teresa, it's not fair to put Ethan on the spot like that. Only time will tell which one of us he loves more. That is the point of this whole thing. Remember? Teresa, don't worry. But I think we've all talked enough for tonight. Mm -hmm. I better get you home. Mm -hmm. Wow! My goodness! You're all still here! Rebecca, I thought you left a while ago. Well, I, I uh, had to come back and get my purse. <laughs> so, how was your little talk? Went pretty well. We decided that the, uh, the best course of action was for Ethan to date both me and Teresa alternately. Well, <laughs> my goodness. I know it's unusual, but considering the circumstances, we have to try whatever we can to work this through. And I certainly feel better knowing that we have a course of action, don't you, Teresa? I still believe true love will win out in the end. As it should. We should go now, Ethan. Right. I'll call you in the morning, Gwen. Ethan! Ethan, I... I really hate to be a nuisance, but, um... Because we're... We're dating now. I think it's only appropriate that I spend the night at home. Would you mind dropping Mother and me off after you run Teresa home? Teresa, you don't really think that I would ever stop loving you, do you? No, Ethan, it, it's not you. I trust you with my whole heart and soul. It's, it's just Gwen I'm not sure about. But, Teresa, there's nothing she can do. I know I love you. It's just that marriage is about more than love. It's about sharing things and, and working through situations that only comes from spending time together. This is the only way I can be sure of who I want to marry. Well, I am not afraid. I mean, we were brought this far for a reason. Fate. And fate will make sure we end up together. I could spend the rest of my life kissing you. Well, what about eating and sleeping and working? Little things like that. I don't care about those things. The only thing I care about is being with you. As much as I'd like to stay, it wouldn't be fair to Gwen. Sleep tight, Teresa. I will. Because I will be dreaming of you. Dream of me, too. Just stay strong. Don't let him know you saw him. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, Teresa's still a little insecure about the whole dating thing. No, oh, that's funny. She doesn't strike me as the insecure type. Well, she'll be okay. She's a firm believer in fate. So am I. The only difference is I believe in, in making my own.